Hello, my friends. So nice to see you again. I hope you hear me and see me. Uh, today we will continue to make our beautiful table tablecloth chantaya. We already made eight rows together, and today we will have a new row. It uh, will be really interesting, a lot of uh, nice uh, stitches we will join. I hope you hear me and see me, just please write to the chat. I hope you made previous rows and we can continue to make new rows. So, today we have a lesson number four and uh, step by step I will show you uh, material and we will start to make it. I hope you will take your tablecloth, your crochet hook and you will work together with me. Today we have uh, lesson number four. If someone is watching this workshop first time, previous lessons we have at our JT House YouTube channel so you can watch all lessons. Also you can take schemes from our free crochet patterns group. I will show you now everything so you will know where to take all these schemes. So this is our tablecloth chantaya. This one is made with a transition of colors and a few photos. I like such design. I always use such design for my projects. Uh, really interesting. From Linda here and see you too. Great Linda, thank you so much. Also I made this uh, tablecloth in only one color, white color and I used um, Italian viscose for this project. Uh, now about material, where, where you can find the schemes uh, for this work, yes, if you are watching just first time. Uh, we have free crochet patterns group at Facebook, yes, and you can visit this group and download from there schemes for Shantai tablecloths, also for another uh, just another project, element, laces, uh, another tablecloth. So let's see a few seconds how to join to this crochet group. I will show you my screen. The name of the group is Free Crochet Patterns by GT House Crochet School. It looks like this with yellow flower in the middle. And you can join to our group after. Uh, please watch this video that we have at the top. Uh, it's all the time at the top now. You can, few, a few minutes you will see how to find all learning materials that we made during a few years. Uh, this all material is for free. Uh, but, but once again I will show you here. So we have photos. You need to press photos. Next you need to choose albums. And you will start to see such elements, projects and laces. Uh, each album is about one project, about one motif, and you can open it and download from their schemes. But this is this uh, we have here not only the seven albums. You can use this button at the bottom and check another elements. Just a lot of fantastic motifs we made and also projects. So you can watch all these <laughs> pictures and just choose something special for for you. Yes, something that you will love and really want to make it. Uh, like standard, I'm showing my first outer motif. This is my favorite element, flower talisman, and you can download scheme from from here. And also, you can watch a video uh, workshop, yes, record of workshop about making such flower talisman, just at our JT House, um, yes, YouTube channel. So, um, and also, let's see another elements. Once again, I will show you one of my favorite motifs. This one I love very much. So you can open the album and you will see everything about this element. You can see schemes, uh, step by step photos. You can download schemes and also you can watch the workshop at our YouTube channel. Even we have sometimes uh, links to this uh, video record on YouTube channel. So you can watch it and you can see how to make this element. I am uh, talking about this element. At this video also I will show you step by step how to make uh, this really fantastic motifs, very beautiful, unique and really special. So we have a uh, very, very interesting material because elements are difficult, uh, fantastically beautiful and you can make them by using schemes and by using uh, records of video, yes, of workshops, of live workshops. And I am sure that you will create such beauty at your home. So please visit our group and download all materials, visit our YouTube channel and just try to make um, elements that you like. Next information about uh, information about threads because I created a lot of dresses and some uh, a lot of people ask me about what threads I am using. I like to use very thin threads and the the most uh, yes beautiful thread for me it's Italian viscose. It's 100% viscose. 
So we have different films now and a lot of beautiful colors. Uh, this time for this, uh, at this picture you can see a beautiful white color of Italian viscose and th this one it's a little bit different, it's not so shiny, um, also very soft. Uh, some of my clients uh, just order this right for baby clothes, also for tablecloths, so it's really nice, right? Uh, next information, I am using, um, yes, for this project very long stitches, it's not so easy to make them, but I will show you everything today step by step again, just how to make everything. And uh, I am using a crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters. This is my standard crochet hook for my projects and a needle with big eye uh, to hide tails, yes, if you are using uh, uh, especially few colors for one tablecloth or for one motif, you will have few tails to hide and uh, you can do this uh, by using a needle with big eye. And uh, this is really also a very important process when you are working with such silky thread. So now we will talk about row number 9 from our tablecloth Shantai. And uh, we have this row here, row number 9 we have here. Uh, like you, if you watch uh, watch it previous lessons, uh, we need to start this row. At previous workshop, uh, we made this big arches, but we don't make we didn't make 24. We made 20 chain loops. So um, and we have such yes, interesting parts, really big arches. Today we need to make such leaves. Yes, uh, next row. So we finish it, let me show you where we finish it, at the bottom here, at this part. So, uh, what we will do? I try like this variant. We will move up by using slip stitches. We will reach to this first picot, and from this picot we will start to make row number 9. And then I will show you everything, how to make this all big stitches, this all combination of stitches, and we will make it. Let's take and work at this row. I hope you will work uh, together with me. Please take your tablecloth and crochet hook and let's start. So we have our beautiful tablecloth made in few colors. Yes, with transition of colors. And we have also a white ta tablecloth made from this, yes, Italian viscous white color. And now I will show you my result. I already ironed this new row, row number nine, oh, sorry, eight. And uh, we have such result in this moment. I really love this corners. Uh, they are really special for me. I love this design. And uh, we have we will have the same at the end, but we will have like more like these parts. It will be really beautiful. And uh, I ironed this arches. We have this really big arches. At the corners we have four picots, and uh, at the middle here we have three picots all the time. So now I will remove this pin and we will start to make this slip stitches to start new row. We need to reach to this picot, so let's make just step by step we will make uh, this slip stitches to each stitch yes of this uh, arch. So I will insert hook below two threads to the first stitch, yarn over and make a slip stitch. It looks really nice, thank you so much. Thank you. So now insert uh, like this all the time to the new stitch below two threads and make a slip stitch. Again to the new stitch and make a slip stitch. Just be careful make it not too tight. And after reach to this picot, Next, to the middle of picot, make one more slip stitch, and I think it's okay to start, yes? But now we need to make a few stitches with three times yarn over, so uh, we should make few chain loops to move up first, at the first part. Uh, so let's make one, two, three, four, five, six. I think maybe six chain loops to move up. You can try, maybe for you will be better five. Next, three times yarn over. And insert hook to the middle of picot. Make, yes, this double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over. To the middle of picot, make a double treble crochet. Again, don't finish the stitch and join in the end. 
by slip stitch. In this way, we just start to make yes, this row number 9. After we have 6 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chain loops, uh, next, uh, 3 times yarn over, and uh, to the middle of this picon that we have in the middle, insert hook and make first um, double treble crochet, and this time we need to finish it. <laughs> Uh, and again, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the same middle of picot. I see new comment, I just love the color combination. Thank you so much! <laughs> I'm very happy that you like it. I also like it, uh, if, if, yes, this variant. It was like just experiment, but I like it. So we have a three double treble crochet and the last one. So three times yarn over to the same picot, make a double treble crochet again. So we should have uh, four stitches starting from the middle of picot. From here, again, six chain loops. Three, four, five, six. Uh, next, we need to make uh, six times yarn over. Three, four, five, six times yarn over. Make them very close to the top of the hook. Next, insert hook again to the same picot and make uh, make a loop after yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook again yarn over and draw through two loops and once again Okay, let me see what next uh, we need to finish this stitch Okay, so we need to step by step finish this stitch all the time draw thread through two loops on your hook now I finish it this stitch and after we need to join to the middle of the stitch two double treble crochet. So first one, three times yarn over. Uh, we will skip first part at this stitch, second one, and to the third, insert hook below two threads and make double treble crochet. And you need to finish the stitch, like this, we have it. Once again, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make a double treble crochet, yes. Okay. So we have this middle part. After six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now at the, at the other side, we will make symmetrically the same four stitches. So double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot. So just to make four stitches each time, finish each stitch. So it's like standard stitches. Just we need to start them at the middle of picot. So three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make double treble crochet like this. Once again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Okay, so I finished to make this part. Now we can continue to work. Make 16 loops, three, four, five, six. Now go to the next picot and we will make symmetrically three stitches with three times yarn over, so double treble crochet to this picot and now we need to stop here when you have two uh, loops on your hook don't finish the stitch and again make three times yarn over start, start to make second stitch and make double treble crochet again don't finish the stitch and again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet so now I have four loops on my hook, yarn over and join all threads together. I see comment from Sue. Hi Linda, hi Landa. <laughs> so after this, I'm looking to the scheme. Uh, we have six chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, now we will work in, at the middle. Here we will make uh, big stitches. Let me see how many times yarn over. Mm -hmm. I see only four. I will check. One, two, three, four. Okay, four times yarn over, I think. Let's try. One, two, three, four times yarn over. Make this all loops very close to the top. Insert hook to the middle of picot that we have here. Yes, to this picot. And make half. So just twice I will draw thread through two loops. Now I will stop. Next, two times yarn over, go to the next picot and make a treble crochet. But don't finish the stitch, yes. We have like this, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, and the last time, not last, let me see, okay, one more. So we finish it to make such, yes, two stitches, join it together. After we have six chain loops, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we will make the same. First four times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook uh, to this picot where we already made one stitch. Make two times like this, draws right through two loops. Next two times yarn over and make treble crochet to the next picot. Now don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, again through two loops, and the last one. So we have two combinations of stitches like this. And next six chain loops. Three, four, five, six. Now we will work at this corner. We have here bigger, yes, a number of uh, picots and these stitches. So we need to make uh, to the middle of picot this one. Uh, three double treble crochet join it together. So let's make first stitch and don't finish this double treble crochet. You should have two loops on your hook. Again, three times yarn over, make second double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. And once again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. So we have uh, four loops. Join them and we finish it to make this part. Now six loops. Three, four, five six loops and uh, now work with the next picot make four double treble crochet to the middle of this picot each time finish stitch yes like standard stitch again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot and the last one three times yarn over make double treble crochet Okay, so we have four stitches. I made them to the middle of picot. Uh, now six chain loops to move up. Three, four, five, six. Six times yarn over. Four, five, six. Make them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the next picot. Sorry, to the same picot, yes, to the same picot. And make this long stitch step by step, just draw thread for two loops each time, yes? And step by step, make very accurate beautiful long stitch. So I finished to make the stitch, next three times yarn over, skip first part at this stitch, second part, to the third insert our hook below two threads and make double treble crochet. Again three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet. Okay. Now 16 loops and make uh, the same four double treble crochet at the other side. So three times yarn over, make first stitch. Again, three times yarn over, make second stitch. And again, double treble crochet to the middle of picot. And the last stitch, three times yarn over, and make double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot. And you will get such result, yes? Uh, next, without chain loops, make uh, the same combination of stitches to the next picot. So we start from three, f from four double treble crochet to the middle of the next picot. Three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make double treble crochet. Again, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet. And now the last fourth stitch, make to the same picot. Uh, now we need to make 16 loops to move up. 3, 4, 5, 6. After 6 times yarn over, so we have 4, 5, 6, close to the top of the hook. And now we can start to make to the same picot, make this long stitch. Each time draw threads for 2 loops on your hook. Finish to make the stitch. Next 3 times yarn over, and to the middle of picot insert hook and sorry, to the middle of the long stitch, insert hook and make a double treble crochet. Again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet to the same point. And now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make to the same picot that we have here, uh, four stitches double treble crochet. And in this way we will finish to work with this picot. Three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Two stitches more and we will finish this picot. Uh, 
Okay, so we have such result again. After this, make 16 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, go to the next pico and make 3 double treble crochet, join it at the top point. So to the middle of pico, insert hook and make a double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. 3 times yarn over and make again double treble crochet. Uh, don't finish the stitch. Again double treble crochet and make new stitch. So I have 4 loops on my hook, yarn over and draw through all loops. So this was work uh, around this corner and uh, now we can work again with this straight line. Uh, start from 16 loops. We have 16 loops, next 4 times yarn over. Insert hook to the next picot, yeah, make a loop, next yarn over and draw threads for 2 loops, again through 2 loops. From here stop and make 2 times yarn over, insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet but don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through 2 loops, yarn over and draw through 2 loops, again 2 and again 2. And we finish it to make such nice combination of stitches. Now 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the next picot, sorry, to the previous one, okay. So 4 times yarn over, and insert hook to the same picot where we made the last stitch, and make loop, next yarn over and draw through 2 loops, yarn over and draw through 2 loops. Now 2 times yarn over to the next picot, insert hook and make treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through 2 loops, again 2, 2 and 2. So we have such combination of stitches. After 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops, and we will work with such arch where we have 3 picots. First we will make 3 double treble crochet to the middle of picot and join them at the top point. One, two, three. Now I have four loops on my hook, join them and continue to make. Next we have six chain loops, three, four, five, six. And next a four double treble crochet to the middle of next picot. Each time finish to make each stitch. So I have 3 stitches, again 3 times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make double treble crochet. So we have 4 stitches, after 16 loops to move up, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times yarn over, make all these loops very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the same picot and make this long stitch. Each time draw thread through two loops on your hook. Okay, I finish it to make this long stitch and now we need to make two double treble crochet to the middle of this stitch. So three times yarn over. Now we skip first part at the stitch second and to the third insert hook below two threads like this and make double treble crochet and just finish to make the stitch. Again 3 times yarn over, to the same point insert hook and make double treble crochet. Next 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, and to the same picot make 4 double treble crochet. In this way we will finish to work with this picot and continue to make new stitches. So first stitch I have, next second double treble crochet, and now third stitch and after make the last stitch three times yarn over insert hook to the middle of picot and make a stitch so we have such beautiful combination of stitches next 16 loops go to the next picot to the third one yes make three double treble crochet and join them at the top point 
So first stage, don't finish it, you should have two loops on your hook. Next again, three times, yarn over and make double treble crochet. And once again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. So you should have four loops on your hook in the end. Yarn over and draw through all these loops by one time and you will receive such result. Next, 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Four times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the next picot and make a loop. After yarn over and draw thread through two loops and again through two loops. At this moment stop and make two times yarn over. Insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two loops, two and two. Till you finish to make this all, yes, stitch. Now 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the uh, previous, yes, picot where we already made one stitch, and make a loop. After yarn over and draw thread through two loops and again through two loops. Now two times yarn over to the next picot, make treble crochet but don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through two loops, again two, two, and the last one. So we have such result. Now 16 loops, three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make double treble crochet but don't finish the stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Again three times yarn over, make double treble crochet. And again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. And now join together four loops and we finish it to make this part. Now 16 loops, one, two, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet to the middle of the next picot. And next make three stitches more, all the time double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot. And the last stitch, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet. Uh, now 16 loops to move up. 6 times yarn over, make them very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the same point and start to make step by step this really long stitch. Okay. Uh, now 3 times yarn over, insert to the middle of this stitch your hook like this and make a double treble crochet. Again, three times yarn over and make second double treble crochet to the same point. And we finish it to make this cup. Okay, so now six chain loops, four, five, six. Make to the same picot four double treble crochet. So three times yarn over and make first stitch. Again, three times yarn over, make second stitch. And the last stitch, three times yarn over, make double treble crochet. In this way, we finish it to work with this picot. Uh, next, uh, the same, I will repeat with another picot. Without chain loops, just make first double treble crochet to the middle of the next picot. And like this, we start to work, yes. Next, make three stitches more to the same picot. All the time, use double treble crochet. Make everything accurate, not too loose, not too tight. So we should have four stitches to the middle of picot. After 16 loops to move up. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six times yarn over. Make them close to the top of the hook. And very accurate, make this long stitch. Each time draw threads for two loops on your hook. After make three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot below two threads and make double treble crochet. And once again the same, make double treble crochet to the same point. Next, 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six and make four double treble crochet to the same picot. 
one, two, three, make second double treble crochet, and next two stitches more. Next 16 loops, and to this last picot make three double treble crochet joining together. So make first stitch, but don't finish the stitch. You should have two loops on your hook. Again, three times yarn over and make second double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. And the last time, make stitch and don't finish it. You should have four loops on your hook in the end, yarn over and row through. Uh, yes, all these four loops. Uh, now we will work again with this straight line. So we start from 16 loops. So one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. Now four times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the middle of the next picot, make a loop after yarn over and make and just draw thread through two loops and again through two loops. Now stop and make two times yarn over. Insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again two, two and two. Till you finish this beautiful stitch. Now, now uh, six chin loops, three, four, five, six. Make four times yarn over. Place these all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the stitch to the picot where we already made one stitch and two times draw thread for two loops. At this point stop and make two times yarn over. Insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet. Uh, don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again two, two and last time. We have such beautiful combination of stitches. Next 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next we will work with such arch, arch with three picots. Now we need to make three double treble crochet to the middle of picot and join them at the top point. So I made first stitch, I didn't finish it, I have two loops on my hook. Again three times yarn over, make second stitch and don't finish it. Again three times yarn over and make one more stitch. In the end you should have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all loops by one time. And now 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have the middle picot. Here we will make first 4 double treble crochet to the middle of picot, step by step, each time finish each stitch. So it's like standard stitches. So we have 2 stitches, again 3 times yarn over and make one more stitch. So we have now 3 double treble crochet once again. Uh, three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make double treble crochet. So we have four stitches to the middle of picot. I see new comment from Pavlo Tushnitsky. Thank you so much. Please <laughs> press like if you like this video. Thank you so much for all your likes. I see seven likes. It's just incredible. Thank you so much for your big support. Thanks a lot. So we continue to make row number nine at our beautiful tablecloth shantaya. So now we need to make six chain loops to move up. Four, five, six. Like this. After six, chain, uh, six times yarn over. Four, five, six. Place these all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the same picot. Make a loop. And now yarn over and draw through two loops. Again through two, two. And all the time like this till you finish to make this really long stitch. It should be accurate, not too loosely, not too tight. <laughs> I see Pavlo is doing very well also, yes. <laughs> Thank you Yolanta for nice comment. So now three times yarn over and we need to find the middle point, yes, at this long stitch. So we need to skip first part, second and insert hook to the third part below uh, two threads and make standard double treble crochet. Again three times yarn over, to the same point insert hook and make second stitch. And that's all, we will finish to make this middle part. We have it. Next 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now three times yarn over and to the same picot make four double treble crochet. 
first stitch after three times yarn over and make second stitch next one more double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot and again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet and now six chain loops three four five six to the next picot make three double treble crochet and join them at the top point so I finish it to make first stitch I have two loops on my hook three times yarn over to the same picot make second double treble crochet and one more so three times yarn over make third stitch in the end you should have four loops on your hook yarn over and draw through yes uh, this all loops by one time so now we will work with this straight line I need to make 16 loops first one two three four five six now four times yarn over place this all loops very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the next picot and just two times draw threads for two loops on your hook in this moment make two times yarn over insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet but don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through two loops again through two two and the last two and you will get such beautiful stitch and now 16 loops one two three four five six make four times yarn over insert hook to the same picot where we already made one stitch and make two times like this yes now two times yarn over insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet now yarn over and draw through two loops two loops again two and the last two and you will have such beautiful result next 16 loops three four five 16 loops uh, go to this corner we have here big arch with four picots make three double treble crochet to the middle of picot but don't finish stitch each time you should have yes two loops on your hook after first stitch you should have three loops on your hook after two stitches and you should have four loops after you finish third stitch yes next yarn over and join this all loops together next 16 loops 3 4 5 6 next we will work with this picot i need to make four stitches to the middle of picot double treble crochet first stitch i have three times yarn over make second double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot and again three times yarn over and make stitch to the middle of the same picot and the last time double treble crochet to the middle of picot so we have four stitches now 16 loops to move up three four five six six times yarn over four five six place this all loops very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the same point to the same picot and accurate draw threads for two loops each time and make this really long stitch not too tight not too loosely just be careful after three times yarn over skip first part second part and insert hook to the third part of this long stitch and make double treble crochet just standard stitch after make three times yarn over insert hook to the same point and make second stitch double treble crochet okay i have it uh, now one two three four five six to the same picot make four double treble crochet so three times yarn over and make first stitch and three stitches more i will make to the same picot So I finished to make this beauty. Now we will work with the next picot. Uh, here we need to make the same. So without chain loops, start to work with the next picot. Make four double treble crochet to the middle of picot. Step by step, and each time finish to make stitch, each stitch.
So we have four stitches. After six chain loops, to move up three, four, five, six, six times yarn over. So we have five and six stitches, six times yarn over. Place them all this all loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle of the same picot, and very accurate make this long stitch. Each time draw thread for two loops on your hook. Now three times yarn over. Insert hook to the middle of this long stitch and make double treble crochet. And once again the same three times yarn over make double treble crochet to the same point. Next six chain loops three, four, five, six. To the same picot I need to make uh, four double treble crochet. So this will be the last stitches to this picot. Okay, first stitch I have. Three stitches more, double treble crochet. And now six chain loops, three, four, five, six. To the next picot, uh, make uh, three double treble crochet and uh, don't finish them. Now I have two loops on my hook. Again, double treble crochet, don't finish second stitch also. I have three loops on my hook and again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Now I have four loops on my hook, yarn over and join them together. Uh, now uh, we need to make six chain loops, three, four, five, six, four times yarn over, place them very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the next picot and make two times like this, draw thread through two loops on your hook. From here make two times yarn over, insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. Next yarn over and draw through two loops, again two, two and the last two. And we will have such result. Next six chain loops, three, four, five, six, four times yarn over, Insert hook to the middle of this picot where we already made one stitch. Two times draw thread for two loops. After two times yarn over, insert hook to the next picot and make treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again two, again two, and the last two. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six, work with this middle arch. We have here three picots. To the first picot make three double treble crochet and join them at the top point. So first stitch don't finish it and you will have two loops on your hook. Three times yarn over make second double treble crochet, don't finish it. And the last time, three times yarn over make double treble crochet, in the end you should have four loops on your hook. Now six chain loops to move up, three, four, five, six. Six times yarn over, three, four, five, six. Place them very close to the top of the hook. Oh, sorry, it was a mistake. <laughs> so, we need to make six chain loops and first uh, four double treble crochet to the middle of the next picot. First stitch, second stitch, third double treble crochet, and the last double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot. Now six chain loops, three, four, five, six, and now six times yarn over, four, five, six. After insert hook to the middle of picot and make long stitch. Each time draw thread through two loops on your hook. Three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of this long stitch and make double treble crochet. Again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Okay, now six chain loops. And make four double treble crochet to the middle of the same picot. Second stitch. Third stitch and the last double treble crochet to the middle of picot. Uh, now six chain loops one, two, three, four, five, six. 
make three double treble crochet to the middle of picot. Don't finish each stitch, you should have four loops on your hook in the end, join them together and now start to work with this area. Uh, here first we need to make six chain loops, two, three, four, five, six, four times yarn over, insert hook to the next picot and make a loop, next yarn over draw through two loops and two loops. Here you need to stop, make two times yarn over, go to the next picot and make treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Next yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two, two and the last two. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six, four times yarn over, three, four, insert hook to the middle of picot where we already made one stitch, twice draw thread through two loops, after two times yarn over insert hook to the middle of the next picot and make treble crochet, next yarn over and draw through two loops, two, two and the last two. And we have such stitches. Next six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops, now we will work with the corner and uh, first we need to make three double treble crochet to the middle of picot and join them at the top point. So each time you don't finish uh, the stitch, in the end you should have four loops on your hook and to join them together by one thread. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six, uh, three times yarn over make double treble crochet to the next picot. Finish the stitch, yes, and make three stitches more to the middle of picot. So I have uh, three stitches now, and once again, three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet to the middle of picot. Okay, I will just take my thread here. Okay. So next, uh, what we need to do, 6 chain loops to move up and 6 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5, 6, after 6 times yarn over, place this all loops very close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the same picot and make beautiful long stitch, each time draw threads for 2 loops on your hook. Now we have the stitch, 3 times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of this long stitch, and make a double treble crochet, just standard stitch. Again, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Uh, six chain loops, three, four, five, six. To the same picot, I will make now four double treble crochet. Each time finish stitch, first stitch, three times yarn over, start to make second stitch. Okay, finish to make it. Three times yarn over, make next stitch to the middle of picot. And now the last stitch, three times yarn over, and make a double treble crochet. Okay, so now we need to repeat the same stitches to the next picot. Without chain loops, make the same. So four times I will make a double treble crochet to the middle of the next picot. Three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Please write to the chat, are you sleeping, are you working, are you watching something else? <laughs> Just interesting to know what are you doing. Uh, do you like this uh, workshop? If you like it, uh, just press like below this video. I will be very grateful for your support. Now I have 16 loops to move up. 6 times yarn over, 4, 5, 6. Place this all threads very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the same middle, yes, of picot and make long stitch. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now 3 times yarn over and make to the middle of this stitch, make double treble crochet. And once again 3 times yarn over and make double treble crochet. 
Now six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make four double treble crochet to the middle of picot. I crochet with you all on here. Great, thank you so much, Yolanda. Really nice. I am very happy that you are <laughs> just working with me on this tablecloth. Great. So now I have four stitches here and we have two parts. So the last picot is, yes, here. We need to make 16 loops, three, four, five, six. Next, three double treble crochet to the middle of picot. One, two, three. And make double treble crochet. One, two, three, double treble crochet again. And now I have four loops on my hook. Join them together. I see comment from Linda. Linda, me too. So I, you are working too. Thank you so much. I am very happy. <laughs> really great. So now we have the last few stitches and we will finish this row. Row number nine will be nice. So 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four times yarn over. Insert hook to the next picot and make twice like this. Draw thread through two loops. One, two. Now two times yarn over, start to make treble crochet, don't finish it. And now yarn over, draw through two loops, two, two, and the last two. We have this stitch, and now 16 loops, three, four, five, six, four times yarn over, insert hook to the same picot where we just made the last stitch, twice draw threads for two loops, after two times yarn over, make treble crochet, don't finish it. Now yarn over and draw through two loops, two, two, and two. We finish to make this combination of stitches. Now the last part. Very simple, make six chain loops and join to these three stitches that we have top points. So let's do this. Six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to find this top point below few threads, insert hook, yes, make yarn over and draw thread through all this. Yes, loops and make a slip stitch. I will make one more chain, fix the thread and my congratulations, we finish it to make a row number nine, a really long row with difficult stitches. And we have such beautiful half of petals, of leaves. At the next lesson, we will continue to make next row. Also will be very interesting because we will make such beautiful leaves. Yes, such parts we will do. So it will be really nice. I see new comments, Susan. I haven't been able to do a lot uh, this a lot this year, but intend to get back into in January. Great, thanks so much. I am very happy that you will try to make it. We will wait for your results also. So I will uh, turn my another camera and we will finish this lesson number four very soon. So, my friends, I finished to make this uh, row number nine. It was really nice. Uh, I think in this row it's uh, really uh, it's not so difficult to work. Uh, you cannot make mistakes. I think because you have previous rows, everything right, and uh, this time uh, I didn't make mistakes, so it's really great. Uh, next row will be bigger, and uh, we will work uh, at the lesson number five, at, uh, on row number ten, and after we will have the last row. I hope you will finish this table close. Uh, yes, uh, this year we will finish it and we will have these lessons very soon. So uh, please uh, make uh, this uh, row number nine and uh, be ready for the next lesson. So just a few photos that we have, you know, we need to finish this tablecloth and get such result, uh, such beautiful, uh, just incredibly beautiful leaves as, uh, yes, at the edging. And uh, I hope to see your results. Each of you are working with different colors, so it's really interesting to see. Thank you so much for for your attention, thank you so much for your comments, uh, that you are working together with me here on this yes YouTube channel, and we was live during yes, this one hour, thank you so much, I will wait for your results, and see you soon at the new lesson, lesson number five about this table clothes. and see you very soon, have a nice evening or day, and see you, see you, bye bye for now.